Her life changed after watching a video. The world today has more than 7 billion people spread across 7 continents, each one of them unique with their own identity and different physical characteristics. In the midst of this large number of inhabitants that populate the surface of the Earth, it is very possible to find someone who looks physically like you or someone who shares your same feelings. However, imagine meeting someone exactly like you on the other side of the world, where it's assumed the facial features are totally different. Something similar happened to the protagonists of this story. Anaïs Bordier was an ordinary fashion student in London. One fine day, she'd receive an email notification saying that she'd been tagged in a YouTube video. Her best friend used to share videos with her, so this didn't surprise her. However, upon seeing the post she was tagged in, she noticed that it was a video of herself, but she didn't remember recording any videos in the past few days. Plus, she didn't remember doing any of the things she was doing in the video. The location of the recording was also unknown. The girl was puzzled when she saw this. She wondered who would have been able to take her face and put it in a video without her authorization, because she thought it was a montage made by one of her friends to play a joke. So in the following hours, she dedicated herself to analyzing it. If it was a Photoshop job, it was very well done. Later, she'd realize it was no artifice. It was someone exactly like her, but with an American accent. After that, she went to the comments section and read carefully each of the words written there in the hope of finding the name of that girl, but her efforts were useless. She'd also watch all the recommended videos, but even this wouldn't help. She even showed the video to her parents, pointing out the strange similarities. Everything about the person in the video looked exactly like her, even the freckles on her face. Intrigue gripped her as she found no answers. However, only a month later, the same friend who tagged her in the strange video would send Anais an email with a link. I've seen that girl again, read the text her friend sent her along with a link to the video. This excited Bourdieu, and she hoped that this time she'd get closer to finding this woman's name. It was a link to a movie. Anais took to the internet and searched for the film by name, hoping to get the name of the actress. She discovered that her double was Samantha Fuderman, an actress from Los Angeles. Anais Bourdieu checked Samantha Fuderman's biography available on the internet. She got surprised when learning that the actress identical to her was born just like Anais on November 19, 1987 in Busan, North Korea, the same day and place Anais was born. The first thought that jumped into Anais's mind was that Samantha was her twin sister. Even though this seemed far-fetched, there were already too many factors that supported her theory. While Anais had been adopted by her parents, there was no record in the child's custody papers to indicate she had a twin sister. On the contrary, she'd always been recognized as the only child of a single Korean mother whose name or likeness wasn't on record. Anais Bordier's adoptive parents took her home when she was just a three-month-old baby. They found her in a shelter in Seoul. She'd been raised in Paris and Brussels and had been educated without prejudice. Although she'd accepted the idea of having been abandoned by her biological mother, she never thought that the past would come back to her in her college days. Eager to discover the truth, Anais would search for Samantha on Facebook. She was not surprised to find her. Then she decided to compose a message capable of getting a response back, inviting her unknown twin to take a look at her profile so she could check the veracity of her words. Anais expressed in her message that she didn't want to look like Lindsay Lohan, referring to the famous Disney movie The Parent Trap, but she had to know the truth. On the other side, Samantha thought it was a stalker. However, after looking at the photos and seeing this strong similarity to the girl writing to her, she decided to strike up a conversation. Samantha was excited and scared. The young actress was also adopted, but she grew up in a place on the other side of the world, New Jersey. She wasn't a lonely child, she had two brothers, Matt and Andrew, to grow up with. She finished her studies in New York and Boston and then moved to Los Angeles to pursue acting. Anais and Samantha began an ongoing correspondence. They shared information about their families and education. After a while, they arranged a Skype call. When they saw each other face to face, they couldn't help but marvel at how alike they were. There was no doubt they were twins. After three months, Samantha wanted to go further. She decided to travel from Los Angeles to London and did so with her entire family. They arrived in London on May 14, 2013. Their first meeting was something never to forget. They were finally able to embrace. They also agreed to a DNA test to confirm what they already knew. While waiting for the results, Anais showed Samantha and her family around London. Then they received the long-awaited call from the clinic. Upon arriving at the clinic, Dr. Seagal came out to meet them with the results. In a moment of suspense, he say, Go back and hug your identical twin. The girls were dumbfounded. Despite all the similarities, they'd always doubted it. In an interview, Samantha would declare that she'd never felt happier, and her sister felt the same. They were separated at birth and fate brought them together after 25 years. Both families were also surprised to discover that their adopted daughters had a twin sister. 
They all cried with emotion. Once the truth was discovered, the twins planned something spectacular. After meeting each other, they decided to go to South Korea to see if they could find anything out about their birth mother. Despite having very little information about the woman who gave birth to them, they managed to contact her. However, her response wasn't what they expected. The girls thought that perhaps she needed time to assimilate her daughters were back, but this didn't stop them from being happy together. Though they couldn't know the reason for their separation, they were determined never to be apart again, even if they eventually had to return to their ordinary lives in Los Angeles and London respectively. The story of the twins being reunited after 25 years went around the world, so much so that Hollywood would produce a 90-minute documentary based on their incredible stories. The production was named Twinsters and would be released on Netflix by 2015. Anais and Samantha vowed never to see each other again, 